24 7. Chris, a community is in shock after two men drove around West Hollywood in a van covered in hateful messages. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in West Hollywood with reaction this morning. Cara, good morning. Good morning, Suzanne. Over the weekend, investigators confirmed they are looking into this as a hate incident. That rented U Haul, it traveled along Santa Monica Boulevard here through both. West Hollywood and Beverly Hills. Take a look. At times, at least two men are seen on video. This is cell phone video outside of it, yelling obscenities and slurs. Witnesses confronted them at points. Now, this morning, Beverly Hills PD did tell us they believe between one and three vehicles were actually involved in this incident, and they were stopped, but no citations or arrests were made. They say there is some gray with freedom of speech protections. Now, they think the group was streaming this incident on social media. We did speak with a local rabbi who heads a volunteer security force, which patrols neighborhoods because of concerns about anti-Semitic hate crimes. Some people will say it's better to need it, to, to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Um, my mentality is it's clear to everybody that we need it, and we all pray for a day that we don't. And the rabbi's group focuses its patrols on Jewish neighborhoods in the Fairfax district. All right, take a look. The day after that truck incident, the seventh annual Interfaith Solidarity March of L.A. took place. Its organizers stress the importance of people being able to practice any religion or no religion free of discrimination. Participants said it is important for people to speak out against hate. And along those lines, this evening, an anti-hate vigil will take place at First AME Church on Harvard Boulevard. Back here live, L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti will be taking part in that and the focus will be on those recent crimes in both Buffalo, New York and Laguna Woods. Back to you. Thank you, Carfinstrom, reporting live in West Hollywood. New details this morning.